Here's an introduction to your ThinkLink account, which gives you access to your online FOSS resources. So I have clicked on the module Pebble, Sand, and Silt, which is for second grade. And every module in FOSS is set up exactly the same, same as for ThinkLink. So at the top, you always have your investigations guide. So this is your teacher textbook. This provides you with the script that you will follow with your students. What materials will you need, et cetera. Um, if you are one that has to share your investigations guide, um, you can access the online resource if you don't have the physical book. We also have the interactive student ebook. So you'll be provided with 32 physical books for the students, but the student ebook is interactive. They have videos, they have audio, they have activities where the students apply what they've learned. They also have text to speech, so it'll read it to the students as well. Now, the sections below I kind of think of as an accordion file or folders within folders. So within assessment, you can grab the assessment masters. They call these the eye checks, the eye check for my understanding. Under module resources, this is your teaching resource. So you can have your teacher prep videos. I found these to be about five to 15 minutes. These are great resource to watch before each investigation to make sure you have the materials, you know how the investigation is supposed to go, and what questions you will be asking. The teaching slides with anchor phenomena. I have already, or I'm going to be working on, adding these to your shared drive. These are also linked in my teacher resource or my science resource those online activities that those students will get to participate in. Um, if I go to Notebook and Teacher Masters, with Teacher Masters, these include the homeschool connection, math enrichment, as well as masters that you will need for your investigation. This is not a file that you send to the duplicating center and you need one for every student. You will really pick and choose certain pages the notebook masters for print. So these you will want to send, and there's two to a page for uh, your students, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can have them, so they can physically put them in their science notebook, which is a big focus for Vestal. Da, 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 da. Let's keep going. Under materials and equipment resources, here we have equipment photo cards. So it's going to show the student what the picture of the equipment is and identify what that item is, as well as word wall cards. There's also posters and card sets. So sense making posters, these are already linked in the science resource, but there are additional ones that you may be interested in printing for your classroom. Now, if I go to investigation one, this is where I'm gonna focus, because once you know how one investigation is set up, you will be successful for all the others. So each investigation is broken up into parts. So in this case, for this module, investigation one has parts one through five. And so when I go to part one, notice I have teacher prep video for investigation one, part one. If you remember, underneath teaching resources and module resources, this is teacher prep videos for all of the module, not just investigation one, part one, it's all of them. Now, not every investigation has a teacher prep video, but most of them do. Then it has my focus question for just investigation one, part one or the focus questions uh, for labeling. These are for labels to print. I have also em merged all of the focus questions for the entire module, and that is linked in the science resource, but I will also be putting in your shared drive. Then it's telling me 
So this is the specific slides for this module. The word wall cards, the notebook sheet. So I can find this information in multiple places. Here, it's by this specific investigations part. Up above, under, you know, module resources, notebooks, etc. It's for the entire module, not just the single investigations part. So you can find the same information in multiple places is really what I'm saying. And so then we have our teacher master and our notebooks, which I think I might have already said. And then your notebook sheet for display. So if you wanted to look at this or show it as a class. And so once you understand how one investigations part is, the all the rest follow the same format. And then down at the bottom, we have family resources and extensions. So these are that letter home to families, <clears throat> some remote learning resources if you wanted, at home resources, so that homeschool connection, the math extension, other at home activities. This is great for, you know, when families say, what have you been learning about? You can send home things that they could be doing together. And then the vocabulary, and those are the same as the word wall cards, and then any ebook resources. And what's nice is the ebook already has the ebook at the top, the interactive ebook, already has text to speech. You can also get it just as an audio book. So if you don't want the distractions and you, the kids just need to be listening, you could play the audio book in front of the class and the kids are following along with their um, paper copies. So that's just a quick introduction to FOSS's ThinkLink online resources.